If you were awoken by vibrations, what would you think was happening? Published by YB Normal in January of 2012, a hotel guest awoke to something reverberating throughout his room in Beijing and reported hearing spine-chilling sounds. Grabbing hold of his camera, he went to the window where he spotted three unidentified flying objects in the sky. The dark saucers can be seen in a triangular formation in the distance, while in in the background you can hear the disturbing noise that must have woken him. It's one deep, long, vibrating note, like the sound of something hovering. The camera zooms in on the saucers before the video turns off unexpectedly. The uploader says the camera stopped functioning for no reason. Are these extraterrestrials simply observing us Earthlings? Or are they trying to scare us with sleep deprivation? Adam Grayson is making a YouTube video at the hospital after a reaction causes his entire hand to swell. His wedding ring presses into flesh of his finger hard enough to cut off the circulation. Now a surgeon has to cut through the thin band of metal with only a trained eye and a tiny circular saw. One slip will make the situation ten times worse. The friction from the saw creates such an intense heat that nurses must repeatedly squirt water on the ring to cool it off. They really do have to delicately cleave through every last millimeter of the ring to get it off. Here you can just see how close they have to get to Adam's finger before they are able to pry it off. Adam's finger is red and tender. When they are finally finished with the procedure, there is no doubt that in my mind that he would have eventually lost an index figure had he not gotten to the hospital in time. When you investigate haunted places, expect to be followed home. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, so that scary claims a spirit from a ghost ship followed them home. Originally published to YouTube by SDK Paranormal in September of 2020, the YouTuber explains, There is a lot of strange things happening outside, which we really do think is directly related to a spirit named George that followed us home from an investigation. So what happened? Robert explains in the video that ever since the team investigated the USS Edson, they've been encountering the spirit of George. The security footage shows a shadow appearing to knock on their door. According to Robert, they heard three knocks inside as this occurred. The spirit threw rocks, appeared as orbs in their photos, and spoke to them via EVP. This is when they set up security cameras and caught this on video. George shows up in the form of bright orbs, invariably a black shadow orb, which seemingly causes a chair to move. Next, the kickstand on the bike goes up of its own accord. The spirit is wild, but perhaps he just wants to be friends. On the other hand, he's throwing rocks. Who knows what he wants? This paranormal investigation takes place in an abandoned building in Indonesia. I can't tell what is being said, but you don't need words to tell this person is being relentlessly stalked by something not of this world. First they play some kind of song which I think is meant to summon spirits. A short while later, a shadow person peeks around the corner and appears where his thumb is. If somebody could please translate what is being said here, then maybe it could help us piece together what this video is all about. I don't think he noticed anything at first, but this is the exact moment he sees the spirit. Again, please translate if you can, and tell me if you think he sounds sincere or if he is acting. <laughs> the way he turns and bolts without saying a word is very realistic, so I'm inclined to believe this is not a joke. And when he looks again, the ghost is up way high in the left corner. I think he is losing his mind at this point and he squats in the corner to hide. He thinks he is safe, 
but the door opens and closes by itself, and a strange mist floats up towards the knob. He runs away and stops to look around, panting, completely out of breath and scared senseless. This faint moan before the video ends makes me think he did not make it out alive. <laughs> One door shuts, another opens. YouTuber Just Paranormal published this video in March of 2018. One of the dudes in the video says this paranormal footage was filmed in his home. This shot was directed at him in the darkness, and over his shoulder behind him, a door slowly swings closed on its own. They were renovating the bathroom, which is where the door closed. The man explains that the house was once owned by his mother-in-law, although they don't know whether or not anyone passed away in the home. His sister-in-law dabbled in witchcraft in high school, and as the boys note, you never know what you're getting yourself into with that stuff, and this may have contributed to the strange happenings occurring within the home. At the time, he's been documenting all the events occurring in his home, and when he heard footsteps, he started filming. This is why he was able to capture the door closing on video. He then runs over to the door, opening it to find no one there. There's no fishing line on the doorknob to cover all the bases. He explores his home the next day to see if air vents could explain the door closing. Nothing natural seems to explain this event. Could it be supernatural? What do you think? While visiting an abandoned mental hospital in Allentown, Pennsylvania, Spirit Realm Investigations captured what they believe is an apparition on camera. Watch the bottom right window, followed by the middle windows. Did you see that? Something seems to peek out and then shift between these two windows. To me, the shape in the bottom right window is convincing. It looks like a figure peeking out and then vanishing. But I think that could just be a reflection of light as the camera moves. It does seem to move in pace with the camera's movement, but the first one doesn't. That's for sure a legit apparition peering out at us. Security footage shows a man letting his guard down while inside a scary looking warehouse building. Big mistake. One of the chairs moves by itself and he stares at it, too terrified to react. That's when the chair scoots forward again, and then they all fall down, even his own. I can't explain what the mysterious dark figure in the background of this video could be. Hopefully it's not a shadow person silently watching from one floor above. Aquatic researchers are stunned to see this massive shark pass by their cameras at a depth of 3,300 feet below sea level. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Got it. Man. I can't you can you get him on? Oh, oh whoa. Yeah, look how thick he is. He's huge. As the giant shark circumnavigates their equipment, the researchers try to estimate its measurements based on the space between the two laser dots. Will this size fall short of an adult megalodon? Some people have pointed out that this could be a juvenile, since all scientists have to go off of is their teeth and backbone fossils. We may never know for sure. YouTube team Greg and Heather's Explorations returns to the Townsend Cemetery, where they once held hands with a spirit. Will he hold their hand again? They begin with an EVP session. Be a sneak peek of her EVP I session. I Patty. Oh my God. You remember me from last time? <laughs> As they're examining the grave of a Confederate soldier, they hear a distant sound. It was like a Confederate soldier. Something. He was a, a, a high up in the ranks. But what is that noise? You hear that? What is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
they then discover what that sound is. Is that the water zone? Wait. Whoa. That Wait was not minute. just someone. No. Oh my. You've been saying that you felt like somebody was over yes. here messing with you. Is someone pranking them? And is the prankster living or a spirit? When they turn their ghost tube app on, they see figures all over the place. Hello? Oh, oh wow, look, right there. Right in front of you. Wow. Hi. We see you. Was that you that just set this meter off? And later, they try to convince the spirit to hold hands again, this time with Patty. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Can you do that again? Yep, he's right next to you, to the left of you, yeah. Can you reach out and touch her hand? Like you. But the spirit is reluctant. Heather believes the spirit is a child since it's down low. I tend to agree. That might also suggest its hesitancy to reach out, and it might explain the trickery with the faucet being turned on. This child ghost is playing games. You have probably heard that name, as La Llorona has become quite the legend, especially in Mexico and Latin America, where this video has been getting a ton of attention. This clip, which has been racking up millions of views, appears to be a forest cam video. You can see a figure slowly move across the forest with very slow movements. While many have claimed this is the infamous legend, the flickering effect of the video makes me question the authenticity of it. Nevertheless, even the slightest possibility of this video being real is enough to make it impossible to look away from. A few days ago, strange sounds started coming from an old shower stall in this house that Alejandro has not used in years. He wasn't sure if it was rats or something, so he went up there with a camera and this scary sighting is what's been caught on video. Twenty seconds after showing us nothing was in the shower, this ghostly figure presses against the glass, flies upwards and disappears. This almost has to be CGI because there are absolutely no editing cuts, and the way they fade away doesn't look like somebody simply stepping away from the glass. He reinvestigates and the shower is just as empty as before. Filmed near Shady Lake at Arkansas's Washita National Forest. This family was camping in a secluded campground when they encountered a creature that some think is a myth. Published by Jim Harrison in September of 2012, the camera is panning across the darkness when a large hairy figure moves into view not far off. Needless to say, the cameraman turns tail to flee, and I'm guessing he made it out alive with this wicked footage to show for it. While you may not be a believer, many in the comments of this video are. A number of them even share their own encounters with Sasquatch. Who would win in a swamp fight? A deer or an alligator? You're about to see. Published by Hazy Season in June of 2019. This scary video was captured at Squaw Creek Reservoir in Glen Rose, Texas. At first, the fisherman thinks he's looking at a huge fish. Gosh, look at those. What is that? Is that a dead fish? But as he gets closer, he realizes it's a deer in the water. The deer is no longer alive and it's being pulled down into the water's depths. Looks like a deer, dude. It's a dead deer. Holy sh By something that is so far unseen, the crew is wondering what's gotten hold of it. They watch for a moment and soon realize a gator's got him. They then let nature take its course. Dude, what happened? Did it just like fall down this hill? Holy, holy. Although we probably all could have guessed that the gator would win this battle, I'm sure we were all rooting for the underdog. Who's there? Your worst nightmare. 
posted by Deadhead Gillies to the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor says there's something knocking in the walls, and we don't have to take her word for it because she has video proof. It sounds like someone is knocking insistently at the door, only there's no one there. She says this has continued for two months. She's not the only one to have had such an experience. Redditor Ritual Maniac writes in the comments that the same knocking pattern occurred at a house she once lived in, along with other paranormal happenings like voices, doors opening, running, etc. When they moved, everything, including the nightmares and unexplainable bad feelings, all vanished. The Redditor says this knocking wasn't heard initially and just started happening randomly as of late. At one point when her boyfriend lived there, he even heard laughing and whispering. The Redditor said after sending the videos to her grandmother, a pastor was supposed to come and visit, but of course an ongoing event began earlier this year and prevented that. Some in the comments think it's the pipes, others say it's likely a pesky animal, but myself and many others are leaning towards the paranormal. Game of Onions writes, let him in already, must be cramped in there, but I wouldn't take that advice. Don't believe in unknown beings? What if one strolled right up to tap on your window? This unknown being footage, posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by 77 Curan, will inspire you to take a trip over to Area 51. The footage shows an unknown being approach the window of a home. Its features are quite clear, with black gashes for eyes and an elongated cranium. You know, the kind of features you might expect from an unknown being. The unknown being stands there, peering into the home observing. It even looks as though it's trying to find a way to open the window. If that is indeed what it's doing, it doesn't succeed, instead slinking off, perhaps to find the homeowner to take him. What do you think of this unknown being footage, real or fake? Either way, I'll be locking my windows tonight. A group of divers go exploring off Miller's Point in South Africa, a place where giant sea life can pose quite a problem, but it's not what they find that makes this diving video scary so much as what it is they lose. At 4 minutes and 17 seconds, one of them starts to thrash around and has to be extracted by two friends. He has lost his sense of direction because everything is one color, no floor, no ceiling, and easy to lose track of unless you keep focus. Now up has become down, left has become right. He has no idea where he is and his mind is spinning, a condition known as vertigo. Once you are in this confused state, it's easy to keep swimming farther down because you think you are going to reach the surface at any moment. Eventually, the underwater pressure becomes too much to handle and you can guess the rest. When they bring him to the surface, you can see that it's a good thing they intervened in time. He later says he blacked out and doesn't remember any of the scary moments they've caught on camera. There was little chance of him reaching the surface on his own and he pretty much owes them his life. So take this video as an example why you should never go diving alone unless you want to risk the same thing happening to you with no one to save your life. When a shadow passes through your security footage, you know you're not alone. Posted by Lily Monique to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Lily shares that her uncle David and her father work for mall security. She writes, this is what my dad and uncle caught on mall security cameras where they work in the middle of the night in the parking lot. The video shows David standing in the middle of the empty lot. He remains there in the light, and no one at all is around. But then a shadow passes close to the camera, completely blocking him from view for a moment. It almost looks as if a figure glided directly in front of the security camera. If I were David, I'd be looking over my shoulder in that parking garage. Published in May of 2019, Erwin Saunders captures these bite-sized creatures on camera in the mossy woods of the UK. Is this a new fairy species? The little critter is seen carefully making its way through the woods.
nearly blending in with his surroundings. But this isn't the scariest part. When Erwin enters this narrow cave, he gets a bit of a surprise. Something is slithering in the darkness. It doesn't quite look like a snake, but it's making its way toward Erwin, who quickly backs out of the cave in shock. Right. There's something there. Okay, let's, um... Erwin says it's a worm of European mythology, which is described as a huge limbless wingless dragon or sea serpent. Did this nature guide just encounter two mythological creatures in the forest? These magical surroundings sure seem like the right habitat for them. A woman has a full-on break from reality while on public transportation. She carries a full conversation with herself in some sort of laughing tone that only she can understand. Then she becomes absolutely overwhelmed with grief before snapping out of it. <laughs> When someone approaches her to offer comfort, she switches back to laughter with a glare. The person wisely keeps their distance and does not come any closer. Next, the woman pulls out a dirty towel with stains and disappears into her own world, apparently laughing again. I really hope she gets the help she needs, because this seems like some sort of mental episode that needs to be treated fast. She and everyone around her are lucky that this didn't escalate to the point where someone had to physically intervene. The David Livingstone Centre is a reportedly haunted museum in Glasgow, Scotland. As these paranormal investigators are about to discover for themselves, they aren't even finished setting up their equipment when the poltergeist activity begins. First, something falls in the darkness, and then a piece of equipment flips over in front of them. They go to where the other object fell over and find one of the velvet ropes has come unhooked by itself. Since we didn't see it happen on video though, I guess we just have to take their word. Later, they head over to the chapel area where they think they see something move, but it's too dark to tell. As if it's a person? Yeah. Is it behind you? When they take a picture of the corner of the chapel, however, this image of a shadow person is what they find. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.